Welcome back. Today we are covering how we install cork roadbed on the Missouri Pacific Sedalia subdivision. A couple of reasons to install cork roadbed are that it provides a prototypical look for the main line's elevation above the surrounding scenery and also provides some noise dampening for your layout. We use Loctite PL375 to adhere our roadbed to the layout. I found that with the almost immediate hold of the Loctite, I can easily lay a large section and the adhesive will hold the roadbed in place without having to use pins. So I went through and marked all of the track centers along the entire layout and now I'm going to go back through and I lay a bead of adhesive right down the track center line. Now I'll take a scrap piece of foam and spread the adhesive thin enough that I can see the center line and when the roadbed is pressed firmly down into the adhesive, the adhesive won't come up around the edges of the roadbed. Once I have the adhesive spread sufficiently thin, I can take strips of Midwest Products cork roadbed and place a piece on either side of the center line. When approaching a turnout, I will always start at a single end and one side of the roadbed will stay with the main line while the other will follow the diverging route, leaving a V at the other end of the turnout. I can then go back with the next strip, cut an angle at the end, and start in the V that was left from the other two strips and continue on laying roadbed. Once the entire section of roadbed is down, I will take a piece of foam and press the roadbed down into place. By using something with a bit more surface area, it will allow me to put an even pressure over the area, preventing me from putting dimples in the roadbed where my fingers have pressed harder in certain spots. Now this is one of the most important parts of laying your roadbed. Once you have allowed the adhesive to dry, you need to go ahead and sand the tops of your roadbed so that it is as smooth as possible for your track work. I take an orbital palm sander and just run it slowly over the entire area paying close attention to the joints in the roadbed or anywhere that the area may have imperfections in the sub roadbed causing unevenness. There were a couple spots on our OSB that had a bit of a bulge and I just made sure to sand the roadbed more in that area. The roadbed there may not be as thick as the rest of the roadbed but the top provides a nice level surface for the track. Thank you for watching everyone. Hopefully this short how-to might help you with your modeling. If you like our videos, please let us know by leaving a comment, hitting that thumbs up, and subscribing. We should have another video out soon covering the build of our Missouri Pacific Sedalia subdivision.